Thor Love and Thunder is definitely a divisive film among the MCU fan base. One thing that I think most people liked was Gore the God Butcher, at least his portrayal by Christian Bale. And some people were very insistent that they should have given him, at least tried to give him, a more comic book accurate look. Well, we got concept art that does this, and um, it's a mixed bag. So we got two pieces of concept art here. The first one is a far cry from, I think, what most people would want. So here is a rendition of Gore the God Butcher, and honestly, you know, it's not the worst thing ever, but for some reason, maybe it's just me, I, I don't know. Is anybody else getting a DCEU Dark Side Steppenwolf vibe just with, like, the midsection there and the way it looks like organic, uh, like rubber? I don't know how to describe it. it it for some reason doesn't look like MCU design to me. You know what I mean when I say MCU design? You guys will get it when I show the next piece of concept art. This one honestly just doesn't work for me. Um, I don't like it. I don't like the tiny little tendrils. I do like that he has like that black goo symbiote thing on him. And the Necrosword obviously looks uh, a little different. But overall, I'm not really feeling this one. Now, let's look at the mcu -ified concept art which you guys will understand now why i say this one doesn't look as mcu because this one does Do you guys see it now that midsection straight up got the mcu design with the layers and the lines and everything like this is an mcu design again you can see that at this point they probably knew christian bale was joining or at least he was in early talks so they tried to base the face on that and um yeah it's a little bit more in line with the comic i will say i think my favorite aspect of this is the cape I absolutely love it, and I think it would have been awesome to see that. Also, the Necrosword here looks absolutely amazing to me. I really like this design. The whole tendril thing here, yeah, they're more comic accurate, and yeah, they look better the way they're crossing over one another and coming down, but I still think it would have looked weird in motion. And I do still like what we got, even though it's not comic accurate gore. Overall, I love seeing these designs. I think they're interesting, but I don't like either one more than what we ended up getting. Besides like that cape and the necrosword on the last one, that's really my favorite aspects of it. Otherwise, I could take it or leave it, and I'll choose to leave it. There's no other choice. So yeah, what's your guys' take on this? I have a lot of feelings on comic accuracy these days, and when it works, and when it doesn't. And in this case, it never worked for me.